Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this clean and smooth text animation or lyrics, you can say. It looks really cool. This exact one was done by my brothers on the Nilo. I don't know how to pronounce Nilo actually. So if I messed it up, please let me know because I really suck in like pronunciation and stuff. I guess it is like a unused VFX of Creo Keys. It's actually sad when you like put so much effort into a video and like the art never uses or their label never uses like the visual effects but enough of yapping you can see in after effects i have this going on so i'm gonna make a new comp right here duplicate this and remove all these effects actually uh, removing all of these and you can see we're starting with the raw clip now actually ignore the bottom clip because it is just the audio so we're gonna add the text according to the song if that makes sense so for us to start off make sure you know the exact lyrics of the song so you can like listen it to yourself or it is too like confusing you can always ask your director or the artist you're working with but in my case it's pretty simple he's just saying if ain't the braid don't call me so i can read play the song but you can see the waveform and get the idea so right here he's saying till like till like here i guess he's just saying like if ain't so to create a text right click on a blank space go over to new and text and you can just write here so we're gonna write if we're gonna write all of this like separated i think the font i'm gonna use will be arial it's pretty simple and it comes with after effects so you don't have to install like any funds so i'm gonna put this right here i'm gonna duplicate this Control d on the keyboard to duplicate it actually so so you can select any of the clip you want duplicate and Control d and it would easily duplicate but anyway select your duplication if two and i'm gonna move it right here and now i'm gonna write if ain't so ain't right here like that i guess and you can just line it up again so something like that now when it says bread i'm gonna duplicate the end so for the bread i'm gonna copy this and trim it where it says bread right here he says bread so i'm gonna like trim it till here so it comes in right here if that makes sense i'm gonna trim the end as well and we're gonna place it down and write bread so bread right there and when you're doing this also make sure like your alignments and use some of your designing skill if you have because it is all about designing for sure so, but anyways i think something like that and in bread actually i'm gonna go with your fill and set it like a light blue like a neon blue i guess something like this i guess they call this color sand i'm not sure so i'm not gonna be like i know or some so somewhere around here before getting more into the video i just want to let you know i just dropped my ultimate 3d title bundle which comes with my latest pack 3d decks and title preset and one of my og pack the 3d title pack you already know the bundle allows you to add some crazy titles for your music video in just few clicks and also when you buy the bundle it's 28 dollar off so it's a steal for real i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out back to the video so we have a little bit of separation on color and it should look like like really funky and cute if that sounds good but to make it more like funky and the aesthetic we're going for like the clean aesthetic you can always change the fun to something unique so for me i like to use funky retro this is one of the fun that i used on my 3d data pack and it looks so cool so if you don't have this fun you can always like go over to youtube and search a funky retro download and you can just go on one of the website and download it but anyway scale it up and and place it right here so something like that so now i'm gonna copy ain't again and write the lyrics actually so actually i'm gonna trim all of these still here because we're gonna start another like a row after this so another like the section so in here don't call me don't and uh, make sure i'm aligning it to our last text so something like this and i'm gonna actually lower down the don't for now because i'm trying to go with three takes lined up so i think making this small would make sense oh i messed up the spelling of don't so something like that now you can copy your bread the funky retro font and change it to whatever you want to like highlight for me it will be call and like i'll put it up for my don't and scale it down and place it right here so something like it like overlaps if that makes sense if i take a look on my reference you can see this text is like overlapping 
so we're gonna create something like that Ooh, not too like big actually so something like this then you can copy it again it's he says me so in the end in the bottom again me like that now if you take a look we have the simple text going on but i think i messed it up a little bit because my last take is too big i guess and and my second takes are a bit small so i'm gonna select all of these and overlap these for a second so something like this and like lower down the scale according to it and like trying to like match it up maybe something like this and you can just line it these up and you can just always line this up like that now if you take a look you can see it is all same size and looks pretty cool now we're gonna start the alignment and the animations and stuff so for the alignment i'm thinking of putting this on the corner like around here you can see if i take a look at my reference you can see it is on this side so we're gonna put this on this side so select all of your text actually select all of your text and when you're trying to like create this effect make sure your like footage is shot on tripod because if your footage is not on a tripod you will surely have to like motion track your footage and do all that stuff so if you want to learn how to add motion track text i'll link a tutorial in my icad in the description as well but this is just for like the tripod footage and stuff you can use the same method after like the motion track but you get the point i guess but anyways so select all of these and put it at this corner like i told you so something like that it is too big still bro i guess it is too big still yeah these are pretty small right so maybe like scaling down all of these and aligning it again i guess that pretty nice right there and now before we start adding animations i like to add a little zoom into my clip because my clip is like it is like mainly focused on our character so i'm gonna add like a null object here and link our footage to the null object and hit y in a keyboard to grab the anchor point tool and put the anchor point on like the text and stuff where you want to like pop up maybe the text are two down around his head so like that and you can just reposition the point again after that hit s in your keyboard to bring up the scale hit the stopwatch in it put it on the beginning go over to end and you can just bring up the size like that if you're wondering why like the text size is not involved in this it is because we are not linked yet we will do it after we do the graph so easy is those keyframe by selecting both of those hitting f9 and go into graph and in speed graph i'm gonna make a simple graph like this in here so nothing too complicated as you can see so a simple zoom like this would help now after that to link it select all of your text and go a few frame forward because i think our text is already too small already too big i mean not small so we're gonna go like few frame forward then like link it so it is not like scale like crazy you can see it is still like scale a little bit more so go few frame forward uh, around here maybe and let's just yeah that's pretty perfect now you can reposition it so it is not in the border so yeah that's the zoom right there you don't really have to do this but it adds a lot of depth you don't really have to add zooms and stuff but in tripod footage it really adds the depth and the moment that we need but now finally we're gonna start adding the text animation for that just go over to your first text and firstly we're gonna animate the scale then rotation and if you also want you can also animate the position so select your text your first letter i mean and hit s in your keyboard and hit the stop button in there and put the keyframe around like a bit like distance around to the end i would say and you can just lower down the size to zero at the first and easy those keyframes and you can just extend it a little now select those keyframes go over to graph and make sure you are in value graph and just make a graph like this but we're gonna extend the first one so just like move it out the grid this like this handle so it like pops in and has some movement in it if that makes sense you can go like a little crazy with it so now you can actually see the movement like it pops up goes bigger 
and go smaller again so we want something like that yeah, i guess that pretty cool right there if i turn on the motion blur maybe a little like this yeah that's smooth now so make a graph like this if you see the handle so if i show my handle so you can see make a graph like this and now we're gonna add the rotation so to bring up this rotation hit r in your keyboard now and hit the stopwatch in it and you can hit you want the keyboard to bring up your last scale keyframe and put it at the the last scale keyframe the first keyframe of your rotation and go over to first and you can just bring it down to like negative 53 or somewhere around there easy is those and in here make a similar graph and see what works the best yeah i guess this looks really cool right here so something like this and you can even do the same thing here then select both of your keyframe extend there holding alt in your keyboard so something like this so you would have an animation like this you can always like copy these keyframes onto your another text but it can't like work on every text so you have to like adjust and stuff but if you have your text like the same size as you can see in my case if and ain't is the same size so i was able to copy and paste but for this like bread we can't do that because it is a bit bigger on size oh also another thing i forgot to mention this is an important one select your all of your clip make sure you are not in the keyframes of any of those if you already made keyframes and hit ctrl alt home on your keyboard ctrl alt home to bring the anchor point on the center if i play it through now you can see it is like popping off from the center that's exactly what we want so make sure you do that on the starting not in the end i was dumb enough to forget that important point but anyways bring up the keyframes of ink and in negative 53 i'm gonna make it into positive so plus 53 in here and you can just readjust the graph in here actually so now you can see it looks something like this i'm gonna tighten up the graph a little bit more and you can even play with the scale graph to get a different animation in it so i think this animation looks pretty cool right here to even make it smoother you can hit t on a keyboard and bring up the opacity and hit the stopwatch in it hit u and go over to the first keyframe and lower down the opacity to zero so it like fits in like that it looks really cool you can copy these keyframes and put it at the first text as well and now for the bread text we're gonna make a different animation so hit s in the keyboard to bring up the scale again and we're gonna put the keyframe around the end and set it to zero at the first select both of this keyframe hit the stopwatch and we're gonna go over to graph and make a similar graph like this in it so make a graph like this so it like pops in like that and make sure your motion blur is always turned on so turning on all of these so yeah this looks pretty cool now we're gonna hit t on our keyboard and just do the same thing with the opacity in here so it like fits in like that now you can see our another text is popping off now we have another set of text going on on top of it so to fade it out we're gonna also use the opacity so bring up the keyframe on all of those layers and one by one just start like lowering down your opacity as it goes so around like here i'm gonna lower down the opacity and in my second test i'm gonna bring up two frames and in my third one i'm gonna bring up two frames like in the end so we have some space to add the opacity keyframes and with the opacity if you like to make it even smoother you can add like a fast box blur and hit the stopwatch on the fast box blur and go to end to around like three or four or five so it like smoothly disappears then you can always copy both of those keyframes and like paste it on others so around like here i want it i want both of them disappearing so now we can see our text animation on the first set of text are done so we're gonna start adding animation on all of these so i guess you got the point so i'm gonna skip this part because i don't want the video to be like one hour long so i'll see you after i done animation for these takes right here now as you can see our second set of text is also done so that means our overall animation is also done now we're gonna start adding the styles and stuff to make it a little cooler so let's just start there so for that what i like to do is select the neon blue text in here as you can see this is the one in your case it could be any color so select the text that you want to like highlight it and add like a deep glow in it or simple deep glow in here and 
you can just lower down the exposure and just bring up the radius of it and it should give it this like beautiful glow on it i really love so this looks really cool right here as you can see so a simple glow like this and after the deep glow just add like a drop shadow and just bring up the distance a little bit so you will have like this drop shadow on it going on so copy this drop shadow again and put it on other normal text maybe in other text just lower down the opacity yeah this looks really cool right here so i'm gonna copy this drop shadow onto our normal text and i'm gonna copy the deep glow and the drop shadow onto my this neon call text so this one right here and drop shadow only on both of these white text so something like that now you can see it is much more visible and a little stylish as well which i love now you can add like different element on here like he's saying like bread you can add like money icon or something like that and when it says like call you can add another like phone icon or something like that so according to that i grab this png right here of this like phone icon i just search it up on google so we're gonna use this so first of all make sure you link it to the null object and lower down the size and align it where you want to like put it so around here and i'm gonna change this color actually so add a fill in here and i'm gonna grab the color code of my call text so this color code right here as you can see i'm gonna copy this and just go over to fill and just paste it in here so we have the same color going on then after that right away the calls comes in i'm gonna trim the layer and hit s in my keyboard and add some animation in there so simple scale animation first select those go easy ease go into graph and make a symbol graph like this in here it like pops up like that and it looks really interactive as well if it ain't break don't call me with the call icon if that makes sense and now i'm gonna hit the stopwatch in the rotation and animate the little bit so easy and go into graph and make a similar graph on here and now if i play through you can see our animation is pretty much done i guess if i see my like last animation is a little different but you get the idea right so anyways my final result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel i try to put in a lot of effort on every single video of mine so i would really appreciate it you can follow me on instagram join my discord server a great community to like link with other creators and editors so yeah see you in the next video peace